Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Bosney Manor. And we are going through the mystery door that until recently was blocked by this tree. Dead tree that we've brought back to life through these, um, well, I could only think to describe them as magic mushrooms, but uh, not that kind. Anyway, what's in here? Ah, that's the attic, eh? That goes around there. Which, which, well, the last attic might still be locked. It is. Okay, well, what's this? Dearest Arabella, I was taking a walk along a river in Somerset recently and noticed a sight that I just had to write to you about. In the water I saw the brook chalice blooming. I've never seen it or heard of it flowering before. None of my books mention of it. It was so beautiful. Do you have an idea what could have caused this? Ever your friend Edith. River in Somerset. Okay, could be useful info that. Uh, what else have we got? What's this? The Trapped Fairy. Could be related to one of the flowers I've got. Let's have a look at the flowers I'm looking to uh, do at the moment. You gonna load up? Oh, huh, that's a bit weird. Uh, yeah, that's better. Nightfall. So that could be something to do with the nightfall, maybe? The fairy painting? Hmm. Um, I mean, the, the, yeah, it kind of looks like it in the uh, little silhouette that we have. That's Cradle Fern, and the, there's the Brook Chalice, so... Yeah. We can't get in there up in the attic yet. The Cradle Fern, that's the Cradle Fern. It's got, oh, it's got the owl eggs I noticed in them, the ones that I said had uh, droplet shapes on them in the last episode. Okay. I should be adding these clues as I go, really. Why is that kind of weird now? Okay. Uh, so, under Cradle Fern, I'm going to add the bird's egg stuff and the fern painting. Brook Chalice, I'm going to add... Hmm. I don't know. Is it the letter about weeds? Corridor. Yeah, I think... I guess it is. Um... Also under this, uh, the nightfall, I'm going to add uh, the sunset paintings, grandma's research, and the fairy painting, I think, all apply to this. Okay. What have we got here? Got another potting table. Uh, looks like a bedroom. I think there's supposed to be another seed packet in there. Uh, what else do we have out here? Got some chairs. As I said, a little planting station. Uh, here we've got... Hmm. Well, that's not the attic, because that's the attic, so I don't know what this is. Is this locked? No. Ooh, okay, there's lots of stuff to do. Let's go in the bedroom first, because I think we're supposed to find some seeds in here. And that's a bit more of a dead end, I suspect. Aquatic weed removal. Do you have a pond? Do you want to swim in it? Is it covered in slimy weeds? Um, we specialised in removing the following algae. Himalayan balsam, brook, brook chalice, duckweed. Ah, Brook Chalice is a weed. Okay. And this is before the Cradle Fern. Hmm. Petition. Uh, presented to the Honourable House of Commons. In recent years, hunts have been taking place near the Somerset Rivers. Tragically, this has led to the decline and even extinction of some bird species. No longer can we hear their beautiful chime-like calls. That could be important potentially. We hear upon the government to call upon the government to regulate hunting near the rivers of Somerset. We ask that they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, to, please sign below and return this letter to us. Your your signature, Arabella Green. Okay, something we've written. Uh, what was this? The trapped fairy. That's the painting we just saw. Uh, a folk tale. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection on the water. She lost track of the time, and the day turned into night. Nyx, goddess of the night, noticed the little fairy. The moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nyx took offence and decided to punish the little fairy. Nyx placed the fairy into a nightfall and cast a spell on her. She fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. As dawn approached and the sun arose, the spell broke. So just as the fairy awoke from her enchantment, the flower bud closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Hmm. 
to a nightfall. Fell in love with the moon, gaze at the sky. As the dawn approached, bud closed. So it's only open at night. Hmm. Okay. My dear Nova, never forgotten. Little cat photo. Never we've been out there. Dearest friend, it seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. While disappointing, I'm not sure it is worth pursuing scientific study in such places. On my recent visit to Brinsby, the young man showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants, and due to there being a large group of gentlemen in the party, all useful time and erudition was devoted to them and none given to Constance and I. Let us plan another trip of our own, and perhaps we can see these specimens in their home habitats where they belong. Ever your faithful friend, Eliza. Uh, I thought there were supposed to be seeds here, but I guess they could... They could be in here. It's probably like an ensuite bathroom. Yeah. Okay, let's come back in a sec. Here we have uh, Essence of Arnica Flower. For sprains, strains, and joint pains. Tincture of red clover. Chamomile and red clover seems to soothe hot flushes. Okay. Well, we've got some piping in here. Interesting. Lucky, yeah, a bit of a puzzle there, obviously. Flush uh, toilet. Let's take that first. Um, I'll just put that down somewhere. Not sure what that does. Wilson Plumbers to Lady Arabella Green. Uh, Dear Arabella, here is our quote to repair the geyser in your bathroom. The cost might seem high, but trust us, it's a complex job best left to the professionals. Have a nice day, Frederick. Okay, I reckon we can probably fix it ourselves. The Bath Geyser. A hot bath at the turn of a tap. The number 30. Provides a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn the tap and instantly hot water will appear. It can be used in multiple times in a row without any extra cost. Oh, look, there's a plant goes in there. Uh, we just sort of do this. Uh, this we're going to need uh, like a branching one. That looks good. Probably it. Now we have temperatures. Uh, that's to alter. So I don't know yet what temperature we need. So it doesn't seem a lot of point running the bath just yet. Um, I haven't had anything to indicate that a certain plant responds to heat yet. Um, so I guess we'll come back to that in a bit. I thought there was supposed to be a seed packet here in the master bedroom. I haven't seen anything. Tell us, doesn't it? Uh, so we got the cradle. Or maybe, maybe there was, and maybe it was the cradle fan. We've got an attic, uh, which we've not been yet. But it's currently locked. So I've got the seed for nightfall, grown that, got the seed for cradle fan. So maybe, maybe it was, and I just missed me actually picking it up. Uh, let's proceed. Have I got any more clues? Um, not car. Oh, weed removal. Well, that was for the. Uh, Brook chalice, wasn't it? The weed removal. The petition, I think, is probably to do with the cradle fern, because that's about the wildlife. Uh, the fairy story is to do with nightfall. And we don't know about the bath geyser. Nothing currently linking any of the plants to that yet. Dear Lady Arabella, I wanted to thank you once again for your invaluable contributions during our recent meadow orchid research expedition. Your keen observations and deep knowledge of orchids were so helpful. Your dedication to the field is an inspiration to us all. I look forward to future collaborations and the continued exploration of the botanical wonders that surround us. I'll put in a good word for you with the Botanical Society. Your sincerely, Professor Montague. Yeah, he seems like a nice one. Ooh, what's oh, we've got the attic key. Sweet. 
River swimming's this season. Dear members, we want to make sure you can all enjoy swimming this summer, so we've cleared the most popular rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. The River Cam, the River Chew and the River Soma have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the services of Clark's Aquatic Re Weed Removal Company. Thank you for your continued support. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We might have to identify which river it goes on. There might be river temperatures or something. Uh, health and safety warning. It has been brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Ironworks has been illegally dumping, dumping scrap metal in rivers across Somerset. These rivers are now polluted with rust, making them unsafe for swimming. Do not swim in the following rivers. River Cam, Somer or Chew. Well, that was all the ones named in that story. The River Froome was also affected by the waste. Although, oddly, the river is completely clear of rust pollution. We're still researching what led to that effect. So that river, could, it could have been the plants that were stopping the rust pollution. It could be the clue that we're looking for river Froome in terms of I'm expecting to see some kind of list of river temperatures or something perhaps. What have we got anyway? And dearest Arabella, I'm writing to share with you an exciting discovery I've made in my botanical studies. It turns out that some plants are particularly sensitive to sound and seem to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from the natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future and would be delighted if you could join me in my research. Your sincere friend, Marianne. Yeah, there was, there was something else about a song, I think. I can't remember which one it related to now. Here we go, Rivers of Somerset. So, uh, they're all here, but I think it's got to be this river from... Uh, average temperature 25 degrees C. Let's try that. Let's try and get the uh, brook chalice. I think it is. Have I have I got that? Have I got. Uh, hang on. Have I got the seed for that? No, that's in the attic. Okay. Well, I think we want to go into the attic and pick up the seeds at least. So uh, I think bath geyser. Uh, Did I not just say that? The bath, yeah, the bath geyser, the river trust, and the uh, river poster all relate to the brook chalice. So let's go in the attic. The seeds, we know the seeds are there. There's probably some other clues. I think we're making good headway on these. Uh, the nightfall one still confuses me a bit, but we'll, uh, we'll see what we do with that. Flower Growing Companion. Gardening Curiosities. Trapped Moths. Sometimes a moth can become trapped inside a flower bud if it closes in the morning. Mm. This is to do with the night thing then, isn't it? The moth is then forced to use the flower bud as a resting place until it opens again later. Some flowers only bloom for short periods during the year, so if the moth is unlucky, the flower bud won't open again until many months later. I th yeah, that's got to be related to the nightfall, I think. Uh, like the story of that fairy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Um, we're looking for garden tiger moth. That's that's the same as the fairy in the painting. This is starting to come together a bit now. Um, so, uh, what was it called? The garden tiger moth. So if I... Yeah. Is that the only time it's available? Garden tiger. September. Okay, I think we're getting there on the nightfall now. Um, so let's add uh, trapped moths, moths poster, moth calendar. Uh, what else do we have currently? Only the letter about melodies. I think that must relate to something else. Well, it may not. I'm not sure. Um, don't have the information for that yet, I don't think. Little piggy. Inspect rusty pig. Okay. What does that say? Barton's Ironworks, I think. They're back for now. That's the one that was dumping stuff. The sight of plants. Some scientists have theorised that plants have photoreceptors in their leaves and stems, which allows them to see the colour of light. Aha. This means that flowers can tell the time of day and know when to open or close their buds. 
The exact time that flowers bloom is different for each flower, but most do appear to respond to light and the colour of light in some way. Horticulturalists and botanists have made use of this knowledge to trick difficult flowers into blooming any time they like. Yeah, I think this is the last nightfall clue we need. So does that... yeah. There we go. So we're making, we're making progress here. Clues. Grown. Uh, cradle foam is still working on, but we've got the clues for brook chalice. Great. Good stuff. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Is there a little pot here to put, little dish to put a plant pot in? There it is. That's where we're going to do nightfall. Um, and we're going to have to mix the colours for the right time of year, I believe. Um, okay. Well, we're, we're working on the brook chalice just at the moment. My dear niece, I fear the window may be closing for you to find a suitable husband. I've arranged a dinner for you to meet my neighbour's son, Edward. He is successful in business in London. Your cousins, William and Thomas, may well aspire to become accomplished scientists, but for you, Arabella, it is better to make yourself useful in the small duties of life for which you will be loved and appreciated. Your studious nature will no doubt be valuable should you have a son, but it would be foolish to allow such a folly to come before the important things in life. I am confident this is what your parents would have wanted. Dinner will be from five o'clock on Sunday. Remember to wear a becoming dress. Yours very sincerely, Aunt Agnes. Well, F you, Aunt Agnes, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Got a ducky! I'm sure I'm going to get some sort of achievement eventually for discovering all the animals. Ah, uh, what's this? Oh, there's the seed packet we want. For Brook Channel, so we can do this now. 25 degrees C, we need to run that bath, and then I think we'll be alright for that. The Botanist Guide, this month in conversation with Professor Montague, leading expert in British meadow orchids. In his words, every plant, every leaf, and every meadow holds secrets waiting to be unlocked. My aim is simply to uncover some of those mysteries. Professor John Montague, renowned botanist, sheds light on his groundbreaking work in the world of me I think it's supposed to be meadow, meadow orchids and other botanical wonders. With decades of research and numerous publications to his name, Professor Montague's contributions to the field have been nothing short of revolutionary, including discoveries of new species such as the uh, Dactyloritz uh, Montague or Hood Marsh Orchid. Wait a minute, we discovered that one. Do you remember there was a letter about... Um, us or a diary entry about us finding an orchid and saying it was more hooded than the usual one and that it was probably a new species. I reckon, as nice as he seemed in his other letter, I reckon Professor Montague has stolen our discovery. What a wretch. Okay, anyway, we'll come back up here for nightfall, but let's go and do the um, brook chalice. I think we've made enough progress on that now. Oh, no, the potting table's here, isn't it? So. Uh, soil, uh, brook chalice, a little bit of water. Right, we're going to go and stick you in a bathtub. Oh, that's this way, isn't it? Pink. Right, we need to get this to 25 degrees. It's a, uh, yeah, so it's too hot at the moment. Go down, down, down. There we go. This should be good. Did we do it correctly? Ah. No. Okay, I've misread the clues then. Uh, do, oh, do I need to put the pig in the bath? Maybe it's the pig. Dooby 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 doo. I reckon it is. I reckon it's the pig. I don't reckon I've come up the right way. Oh, God, I haven't been up here yet. Okay, we'll come back to that. <laughs> That's the cradle fern, I think. Uh, attic. Yeah, because the piggy we could, I noticed we could carry around and put somewhere. I reckon this is the missing ingredient. Uh, I've come the wrong way again. It's like a maze, this house. Did we do it? Did we do it? <gasps> yeah. Is it going to consume the rust, maybe? Aww. There we go. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? Sweet.
The brook chalice prefers to grow in rivers with a temperature of 25 degrees C. The plant naturally filters the water from rust and metal. Unfortunately, they get removed often as most people prefer their ponds to be weed free. There we go. Brook chalice. Very nice. Okay, done. Uh, I think the next thing to do is nightfall. All we need to work out before doing that is the. Uh, we need to go to the painting room. Uh, which. Is it the painting room? God, where did, I, where did I discover those sunset paintings and stuff? I've completely forgotten. Uh, I can't remember. Is it the painting room? Might have been. If so, that was here. No, it wasn't the painting room because that was this stuff, wasn't it? Um, it was a secret. Oh, it was in the library, wasn't it? It was the um, uh, the secret room behind the the panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it is, or it should be here. So we're looking for September, May, May, July, October, April, September. It'll be this one. Ooh, okay, blue, yellow, orange, red. Blue, yellow, orange, red. We're just going to have to remember it. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Okay. Blue, yellow, orange, red. It's going to be a while before I find my way back, I think. <laughs> blue. Oh, it's not here, is it? Orange, red. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Go to the attic. This isn't the attic. I've, I've went the exact opposite way to the one I wanted to go. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Okay, so we need to take blue. We'll put it in the same order. Yellow, orange, red. And what does that look like when we project it? Okay, um, but we need to pop the seed up, obviously, so... Uh, it's the nearest. It's around here, isn't it? Okay, oh, need another pop. Soil. Nightfall. Lawasa. Right. I'm going to subject you to a light show now. say seeing the nightfall bloom is a rare event the flower only blooms with september sunsets night pollinators active in september such as the garden tiger often get trapped once the bud closes for the rest of the year yikes i don't imagine they survive the experience okay so we only have cradle fern now do i have any other clues probably the letter about melodies and then there's the um the loft with the bells that um I haven't been into yet. There's probably something up there. Let's see. Bird calls. Um, well, we want the crested owl. Because I remember um, looking at those eggs and noting it was an owl. And that's the only owl here. So E, C, D, E, G, F. Okay, well, we need to plant up the seed first. But then, in theory, we should be able to uh, get it to flower. Or at least sprout. I don't think it is a flower, it's a fern, isn't it? So, do some of that, some of that. Uh, cradle fern. Right. There you go. So, it's um, 
Hang on, I probably need to put the clue in here for it to work. So it's E, C, D, E, G, F. That's not the one. Hey! Excellent. Oh, I quite enjoyed those puzzles. Yeah, they were interesting. Nice. The cradle fern is used by the crested owl as a nest, and in turn the plant has grown dependent on the owl's chime-like call to grow. Hmm. Interesting. Are gonna, yes, we've got another gatehouse delivery. So I'm trying to think if there's any areas we've not been to yet. I don't know if there is particularly. Um, I can't think of any doors I've not been able to open yet. I presume there is some, but where they are, I don't know. Time. It is for the formal garden. Okay, now I did see uh, I did see a door for that. Where was it? I can't remember. I might have to consult the house map at this point. Lady Arabella, I apologise wholeheartedly for accidentally taking the key to the formal garden home with me. It was in my pocket, and I had simply forgotten it was there. I didn't want to disturb your research, so I've left the key in the basket here for you. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Where was that? I probably am going to have to go and look at the map. Oh, no, I have a map, don't I? Uh, Q, index. Maps. Formal garden is 13. Uh, okay, that's not very helpful. What's 7? Rose garden. Uh. Okay, so how do I get to the formal garden? What's 4? Long hedgerow. 8 is... Viewpoint. Six is back to seven. Probably in the rose garden then. Don't really remember. Where was the rose garden? Is it the? Is it just this? No. I think when you. I think that is the formal garden. I think uh, once you've got into it, I think you can probably unlock a shortcut to it. Um, it's going to be off that way anyway. Uh, yeah, maybe it, maybe it was... Uh, oh, isn't right. I need to, how do I get out? Yeah. Back terrace. So if I use this to get to the rose garden, it's, it's, it's that gate, I think. Is that the one? Formal garden. Here we go. Chapter 5, climbing up. Three new plants added. Okay. Um, let's have a look at our new plants, shall we? Uh, my index. Climbing up. We have a spring dance shrub. Seed packets in the folly. This flowering bush used to grow in the gardens, but have completely has completely disappeared while I was off on my travels. A friend gifted me these seeds. This is Fool's Emerald, so I don't know too much about them yet. Seed packet inside Thai side terrace. Ocelet. A friend of mine found some seeds and was kind enough to let me use them for my herbarium. <coughs> oh. Apologies for the dog. Right, um, that's in the boathouse. So I think we'll just uh, explore this rather pleasant locale, shall we? Uh, anything here? Apart from a picnic? A little like, egg? Oh, there is a letter here. Or a newspaper. Illustrated penny paper. It was a message. Local man reports mystery signal. A gentleman, sorry, a gentleman farmer has reported sightings of mysterious blinking lights coming from caves near his home in Cheddar. 
I've actually been to Cheddar. In his own words, I was walking my dog and lost track of time a little. It soon became dark and I decided to make the walk back home. On the way to my house, on the way... What? On the way to my house is a tiny cave and as I walked by I noticed a blinking light pattern cast from the cave entrance. I was sure it was one of those Morse code messages. When I approached the cave the light source vanished and nobody was there. I'm convinced that what I saw was the Morse code abbreviation for attention. It's probably quite important. I'll never forget the one abbrevi that one abbreviation as it was the first message I learned in Morse code. So the usual abbreviation for attention would be ATTN? Or, or just ATN? I think it's ATTN, um, so we'll keep, keep that in mind. Local authorities have assured our journalists that there have been no recent military activity or exercises in the area. So the mystery remains unsolved. Interesting, that's definitely going to relate to one of our plants, just not sure which one yet. Uh, well, let's look at the, probably the side terrace. So there's a little, um, this is generally what you would call a folly, I think. There's, some, there's stuff in there. Um, I'm not sure how we get into it yet. It's like it's dried up. What have we got? We've got a seed packet here. This is for uh, Fool's Emerald. Okay. <clears throat> the, ah, okay. The marvel of bioluminescence. In the darker corners of our world, there are plants and organisms that are able to produce their own light. These plants, fungi and insects are most often found in areas of low light, such as dark forests, deep oceans and gloomy caves. Recent discoveries show that chemicals such as luciferin are responsible for this glowing effect. It is not known what this glowing effect is used for, but it could be for communication with others of the same species, or to attract pollinators or food. Scientists believe there are many bioluminescent species waiting to be discovered. Now, yeah, that's going to be important. I don't know if it's for this exact um, one that we've picked up, or for one of the others, but... What's this? Chemical compounds in wildflowers. Uh... Yes, so here we go. So it is, in fact, the Fool's Emerald, this Luciferin, does appear to be the bioluminescent one. Okay, well, that's good. So if we concentrate on that one for now, we'll add the uh, news article, bioluminescence, and the plant chemicals. It seems to all relate to that same plant. Uh, what have we here? Greetings card. Dearest Arabella, I was delighted after our recent mentoring session. You do excellent work as a fellow scholar of the natural world. I recall the spring dance shrub that once grew so abundantly as a large climbing shrub on your garden. Elsewhere I have only ever seen it growing as a small seedling. I have been compiling plant specimens that require pollination to mature into their adult stage. I am certain that the spring dance shrub could be one of these plants. Ever your affectionate friend, Lavinia. Okay, well um, that's not one of the ones we're doing, isn't it? So can I add Lavinia's card? I can. Good. That seems like a clue. Um... over here. Ah, that's the other side of that table. Yeah, yeah, I was here before. Right near the beginning of the first episode, I think, think in fact. Um, got a planting table over there. This, I suspect, will lead to the shortcut through, or, or it will be up there. Okay. Mr. Bennett, the telegraph you ordered arrived while you were at the farmer's market. They delivered it by boat. I left it at the boathouse since I didn't know where you'd like to keep it. There appears to be a Morse code manual inside as well. Yeah, okay. So we'll need that for the uh, one we're doing. My sweet Hazel, are you keeping well today? Jimmy's only gone and broken the lawnmower again. If it weren't for my war injury, I wouldn't be letting him loose with the mower. He said he ran over some hard object down on the long grass near the pond. I had a brief look and couldn't see anything. Sometimes I wonder about that boy's sensibilities. Save me some of your lovely scones. Yours always, Mr. Bennett. Okay, another heavy hint, I think. Uh, is this the boathouse? Uh, oh, attention, here we go. The abbreviation is actually K-A. Ha, huh. okay. That's important. So, it's, yeah, there's obviously a particular telegram abbreviation then for the word. Okay, K-A. We'll remember that. Uh, I don't think we need to read all of that. I think the important part is K-A. <laughs> Interestingly, can't... Hmm. I can't, there's a thing there to put a plant down. I can't seem to do anything with those just yet. Oh, yeah. The 
flower growing companion, tips for growing hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are beautiful flowers that contain anthocyanin, which is a pigment that can change colour depending on the pH level of its environment. The colours can vary between red, purple and blue. Could be important. Uh, yeah. Why, why is that disappearing on me? Pot catalogues. New material for garden pots. Terracotta and granite. Sandstone, marble and obsidian. So I imagine uh, we're going to have to plant some one of these plants in a particular pot. I could bring them out now and take them to the potting table. Oh, no, we'll come back. We'll come back when we need them. We'll know which one we need, hopefully, by then. Rather than do all of them now. That's the shortcut. Hello, birdie. Ah. Okay, so... Cool. All right, well, we've probably got to move that to a particular location related to the plants, so we'll come back to that, I'm sure. Might as well open up the shortcut now, in case we find ourselves on the other side for any reason. It's like, it's like um, Dark Souls, only the opposite of that. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? Okay, this is to do with colours. Anthrocyanins research. Spring dance shrub. Okay, so we've got pHs related to particular shades. That could be useful. So this is again related to the spring dance. Um... Hang on. That's not that. I didn't want that. I'm going to research. Which I suppose means that the hydrangeas one belongs there too. So I think the telegraph and the military codes, I think, is related to the Fool's Emerald. What catalogue? I'm not sure yet what that relates to. Did I look at something here? Oh, there's something else here, isn't there? Okay. Uh, soil pH research. Okay, cool. That's going to also relate then to uh, this one. Nice, nice. So we can probably hang that bird feeder wherever we want. Um, not quite sure what to, to what purpose yet, but I'm sure we'll discover this. Dear Miss Green, I have recently heard of your involvement in the mentoring of aspiring botanists. Botany is a field that demands a thorough understanding of its complexities, and while I admire your dedication, the saying the blind leading the blind does come to mind. All jests aside, I do hope your endeavours in mentoring will yield some semblance of progress. Sincerely, Professor Thornton. God, they're all so patronising, aren't they? Um, guessing that leads down to... Oop, guessing that leads down to the boathouse or something, maybe. I'm just going to... Have a look around this area before moving on. We got here. Dear Mr. Bennett, thank you so much for the lovely bunch of rhubarb from your nephew's garden. He needn't have sent anything in return for the herbal poultice I gave him for his little one, but I am grateful all the same. I know he hasn't the money to fetch the doctor. Since you said he cannot read a note, please send him my thanks when you see him. Faithfully yours, Hazel. I guess we head down here now. That could be the folly, actually. Follies are kind of just ornamental constructions within a formal garden like this, so I'm guessing that could be it. Ah, some bird seed for garden birds. High quality, hygienically blended. Attract a host of garden birds, blah, 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 blah. Simply... Yeah, okay. Ah, well, we've got another one of those, if we need it. Not quite sure. I still don't quite know what we need them for yet, but we know where it is. Boathouse key. I haven't found the boathouse yet. Uh, attracting birds with colour. There we go. So we have a robin. Um... Just like bees, but just like bees, birds can pollinate flowers. But did you know that birds have a preference to pollinate flowers of certain colours? The above chart shows which colour of flowers to attract which birds to your garden. Well, we know there was a robin, so okay, that probably ties in with the pH level. I don't exactly know yet, so I won't just assume at this point. Uh, hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, but this isn't the boathouse. We should be able to lure that bird down when we need it. Hmm. Okay, so what do I need? So the spring dance shrub we think is related to colour, and probably that bird. Uh, I think I need to get to the boathouse and have a look at the... Um, there's a there's um, a Morse code guide there. I don't know Morse code <laughs> off the top of my head. I know SOS. That's the only one I know. And that's only because of Dad's army. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. That's the only one I know. Uh, was it? Um, oh, okay. Maybe down here? Have I been here? I have been there. Does that lead anywhere else? It, mm, it might do. Let's go this way. Ah, this will be the folly then. Spring dance shrub. Okay. I jump off there. I. Oh, no. Uh. Looks rather nice, though, doesn't it? I expect this is how we get to the boathouse. Now, he said something hard in the grass near the pond, so we should probably keep an eye out for that. Could be important. Just do a little lap round here in case there is something. Uh. Hmm. I haven't seen anything. Unfinished painting. Can't touch the colours. Oh, there's his mower. Is this what he hit? That's the boathouse. We'll go there in a sec. So he ran over this handle. Hmm. I'll leave it here for now. Um, can I put it down? Oh, I wonder if it's you know, that dried up thing. I wonder if that's because... Did the water get switched off? Is that what it's going to fix? This thing? So you'd expect water to come out of those heads, maybe, and fill this. So is there somewhere to turn them back on? Uh, tell you what, I'll put it there for now. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe. Oh, it goes there, it goes there. Didn't see that for some reason. In exactly the place I was looking for something just like that. I think it helps getting a slightly aerial view of it there. So that's got to go in here, right? Yeah, so that's going to fill that with water now. across there. Oh, I can. So I reckon this is going to be where we plant the bioluminescent one, if I had to guess. Little cave, and a little place for a pot. I don't think there's anything else in here, so we'll come back in a, in a bit. Um, I need to get in that boathouse and um, find the uh, Morse code book. We'll do now. Is there anything else over here, though? Phenomena of Spiritualism. My dearest cousin, whilst, whilst I hold a deep fascination for the pursuit of knowledge and science, I must admit that the subject of spiritualism is not one that particularly captivates me. Therefore, I must return this book to you. However, I appreciate your efforts in sharing your interests with me. With affection, Arabella. Will of the Wisp. The Will of the Wisp is an eerie apparition that has long been the subject of both fear and fascination. It makes its appearance to lost travellers in dark, isolated places, and beckons them to follow with its beguiling, blinking light. 
Many a wanderer has followed the wisp's alluring light across marshes or into caves, never to be seen again. Take heed, those who venture into dark places. Resist the temptation of the will-o'-the-wisp's shimmering radiance. Turn back before it is too late. <laughs> anyway, we know we have a bioluminescent plant. Oh, that just leads into the countryside. All right, boathouse. than what I was expecting. Egyptian goose. Right, yeah, so okay, so I see. That's cool. So we've got K. Okay, so there's actually a machine that we're going to want to take with us. So let's close that for now. Um, I will bring that. I want to go up into the boathouse and have a little look around, though. So can I pop that down? There we go. Ooh. Okay, quick time check on the video. I think it's probably a good place to maybe leave it for now because I think there's quite a lot to look at and see and do in here. Um, but I don't think there's a huge amount more still to come, but enough to probably fill out another episode. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it here and say thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Botany Manor. I have to say, I, I am really enjoying it. It's just, it's just nice to do, nice to do some puzzles that are just make you think a little bit without, you know, lots of drama and high stakes and stuff and just results in a bit of a nice story and and something, something quite pleasant happening. <laughs> Hopefully you agree. If you have enjoyed this, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the game so far. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.